a service of CNC Worldwide. The Daily is a service of CNC Worldwide and Jib Jab Greetings, and I'm Bud Lowell. Your full AccuWeather forecast right on the top of your CNC local news page. Gasoline prices in the Rochester region aren't showing the explosive increases seen in California over the past week, but after briefly leveling off, they did start going up again last week. Currently, the statewide average price for a gallon of unleaded regular is $4.12 a gallon, the area-wide average for Rochester, 407. That's the same as yesterday, up by four cents from this same time last week. A month ago, the average was 396. This is according to the American Automobile Association's fuel gauge report, which checks daily with thousands of stations around the country to put these regional averages together. Now compare our situation with California, which has been hit by a perfect storm in terms of gasoline supply. One refinery shut down by fire, another by a massive electrical failure, and the simultaneous failure of a major pipeline supplying California. Motorists there saw gas prices jump by 12 cents a gallon on Saturday and another four on Sunday. Their statewide average is 4.64. That means some retailers are selling over $5 per gallon. Nothing like that is likely around Rochester, where we spotted some gas stations on Sunday still priced at $3.99 for regular. But the AAA noted last week that the national average price has set a new all-time record for the calendar date for six straight weeks, and they now expect this streak to continue into the end of the year, although they still think the prices are going to level off and then decrease. Rochester police report an arrest in one weekend homicide in the city, while a second is under investigation. Vietnamese immigrant Vin Doc Phan of Rochester is in custody and facing arraignment on a homicide charge and the shooting death of his nephew, 32-year-old Ho Tai of Rochester. Ho Tai was found shot to death in his car Saturday evening on Veterans Place in the South Wedge. Family members told Rochester TV stations that the victim and his uncle had been arguing over custody of Ty's young son. They believe that escalating argument finally led to the shooting. The second homicide was early Sunday morning. Police say 37-year-old William Click, whom they identify as a non-city resident, was shot to death on Copley Street near Lincoln Avenue about 5 a.m. Police say neighbors called 911 to report gunshots and they arrived to find the victim fatally injured by shots to his upper body. There are no suspects in this case so far. Anyone with information is asked to call 911. A new Siena College poll is out for the 27th Congressional District race between Democrat Kathy Hochul and Republican Party challenger Chris Collins. They're in a dead tie, 47 percent to 47 percent, with 6 percent still undecided one month before the election. The Siena College Research Institute did this poll together with the Buffalo News and WGRZ in Buffalo. Hochul currently represents the western end of Monroe County, including Greece, but under this redrawn district, the winner will represent a much more conservative area, including much of Genesee, Wyoming, and Erie counties. Although you're forgiven if you think the race is being run in Rochester, just looking at the volume of political advertising that each candidate and outside groups have running in the Rochester TV market. Siena pollster Steve Greenberg says in the seven weeks since they did their first poll on the 27th district, nothing has really changed. It's still a dead even contest, but independent voters in the latest poll have flipped. They are now giving Hochul an eight point lead after previously favoring Collins by six points. The verdict, nobody knows what's going to happen. Pre-construction site work starts Monday on the new downtown bus station. This is a $50 million standalone bus station on the same spot, but without the MCC campus and performing arts center that were supposed to be included in the stillborn Renaissance Square project. This will still get the buses off Main Street when they're interchanging passengers and keep people out of the weather while they're doing it. The station will cover the block at Clinton Avenue and Mortimer Street. It should be open for business in 2015. And Monroe County Legislature Democrats hold a news conference Monday afternoon. They plan to unveil legislation addressing what they say is the county's high infant mortality rate. The prenatal network in Rochester launched an awareness campaign last month 
They say 54 newborns died in Monroe County last year before they reached the age of one. More about this will be on CNC News Updates. Just check over to the left where you find the links to these and other stories with more detail. Also, there are links at the bottom of the page you can use to directly post news copy, news ideas, things you'd like checked out. You just send them directly to us. We'll check them out. We also want community news items, business openings, wedding announcements, birth announcements. All of that is of interest to us because we're your community news resource. Next news as it happens, updates when necessary. I'm Bud Lowell, CNC News.